The group looking to build an overlook for the Tehachapi train station has met their goal of raising $100,000. Joining us this morning is Lydia from the Tehachapi Train Depot to discuss why this project is important to the city. Good morning, Lydia. Good morning. Thank you for having us back today. We oh, appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. We're so excited to hear that you guys met your fundraising goal. Can you tell us what was the inspiration behind raising that money for the Overlook? Well, actually, we have a gentleman at the Friends of the Depot, and his name is Keith Sakowitz, and it has been a dream of his for years to have that viewing platform made for more and more people, but able to come and see the, the fantastic loop. And uh, in 2018, Keith approached our Greater Tehachapi Economic Development Council meeting, and he spoke about it, and Supervisor Zach Scrivener was in the audience. And he listened to him, and in 2020, Supervisor Scrivener, um, he kind of said, let's look into this. And what he did was he was gracious enough to, to allow us to use his field representative, Laura Lynn Wyatt, and he told her, you know, kind of look into this and see what can happen. And she put a group of us together, and we all realized that not only was this a dream for Keith, this was a really a necessity for for the people who come up and see the loop. So we we all dug down and with Laura Lynn's leadership, we were able to raise our funds within a year during COVID. So the County of Kern Public Works Department has been working diligently with, with Laura Lynn Wyatt and Zach Scrivener. And they have um, taken our funds that we've raised and they are now going to start production on this, construction, I should say, coming this Monday. So we're just super excited. It will be complete. We're hoping within about a month's time, and then we're going to hold a nice uh, ribbon cutting for it. But it was just, it, it started from one man's dream and his persistence over the years. And finally, you know, Supervisor Scrivener, listening to what he had to say, appointing his rep for us and just everything came together with Kern County Public Works Department and the fantastic donors we had. And, and if I may, real quick, I would love to thank uh, the Greater Hatch to Hatchby Economic Development Council, Friends of the Depot, Marlin Woodside, BHE Renewables, 8 Minute Solar, City of Tehachapi, and Supervisor Zach Scrivener. Uh, actually, Zach Scrivener put us over the top when we were 90,000 and we didn't know how we were gonna get that last 10. And um, it, it has just been wonderful. We're excited. It's, it's going to be something for the entire current community as well as the railroad community worldwide. You know, we have people, we had a little donation thing going on and we had kids bringing their pennies to us. And we had people who had been up at the platform that day and they said, oh, yeah, we're donating. It needs work. So we're just so excited to share the news with you and with everybody in Kern County. No, it is so, so exciting. Lydia, we so appreciate you coming on to our show this morning and giving us giving us this update. We can't wait to see that construction get going. And thank you again for joining us. It's so great that this was able to become a possibility for you guys. Thank you. And we will extend an invitation to you for the ribbon cutting as well. Great. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you, Ken. Bye-bye.